My fellow Americans, my name is David Sponheim. I'm running for president, and I want to help this country get out of this terrible recession we're in. My goal is to build a third party and to help get more people involved in politics and to help the free press help America. Our goal is to lift the veil of this two-party tyranny and open up the opportunity for everyone to get involved in this problem. I'm convinced that if our country doesn't come up with some brand new ideas real soon, we're in deep trouble. And I think you know that too. So we have a plan to get everybody a shovel-ready job working in our housing development program called the Homestead Renewal Plan. And it's going to work right through HUD. And I can implement this immediately as your president. HUD can de develop homes, renovate them, and get people into them and flip houses so that America can get money back. This is a goal that will actually loot capital so that all of us can see the savings in our expendable income and how much we have to spend. So our goal is to also create a bypass to the health care crisis with our mobile medical unit system that is by far the most innovative idea anyone's come up with, where we can actually do this in the VA system, modernizing it, and get people affordable health care all around the country in 200 cities in about one year. So this is a quick fix, but it's definitely the patch that we need to get this country going. And then we look at the bigger picture, getting out of foreign wars, bringing our troops home, and most of all, legalizing marijuana. This is a huge, important thing that America's third party is backing. It's the first thing I'll do. And because marijuana is medicinal, it will be very beneficial and it will help spawn brand new small businesses all around the country. So this is a public-private partnership we're proposing called Hybrid Capitalism. And it's all on our website, americasthirdparty.com. And if you want to get involved in this amazing new third party right in the middle of the political spectrum, this is your opportunity. Now, when you get to the election polls, I'm asking you, please write my name in, David Sponheim, for president. Thank you. If you have any questions at all, visit us on our nightly show. You can check it out at americasthirdparty.com. Or click us on YouTube, youtube.com slash americasthirdparty. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm David Sponheim, as you know. Good evening. Yes, everything okay sound-wise? We're good? Yeah, it's over? Danny, you're being critical. You know, we talked about that. Yeah, we got people behind us. Luckily, their faces are blocked out, so you can't really see them. Yes, I am David Sponheim. So let me get this up here on the header. You can take a look. Broadcasting remotely from a Starbucks somewhere in America. And I'm about ready to get a cold brew of Starbucks coming up. Wow, I just put this in here and for some reason, oh, I forgot to give it a title. Hang on. Well, welcome to our recorded broadcast. As you know, this is a, uh, an ongoing process by which people get to see us, even if we're on the road. And uh, it's not something that many people do. And it's something that I've been you know, working to achieve broadcast from mobile areas, which has been difficult. Today we get to process some news and uh, information. Will you interview random people at Starbucks? No. no. Uh, we're trying to minimize the contact with the uh, public. Yeah, because everyone seems to be very much private in this day and age. So, you know, we, we don't want anyone to think that, you know, we're anything more than just Average people talking to people on a daily basis. We're not in-your-face journalism. That's for people who are uh, suffering from, you know, the illusion of freedom. If you have the illusion of freedom, then you know that we are far from a free country. It's it's more like we've been led down the belief that we have a free country. Oh, I'm fine. Nobody knows I'm here. Everybody around me is completely, you know, ignorant of what's happening which is great, you know, it works for me, especially in a mobile area. I don't expect anybody to be perfect, believe me. 
And I'm glad we got people over at Ustream watching, excuse me, iVlog watching us. Some of you are watching us on the Cool Rock Network. We are now broadcasting iVlog and Vaughn. I'm going to make a phone call to Sarah and tell her what's up. Use me my uh, phone ability here. Yes, I'm going to call her right now on the phone. This is a rare thing because I rarely use phones. I'm going to call her on the phone right now. Yes, we're available on UHF as well. Here she is. I'm going to talk to her. Some ambient noise here. I'm getting the phone now. Hi, yeah, we're uh, we're broadcasting uh, from this location, and so you can shut the engine off. And uh, yeah, just just hit the uh, roll some windows down for air, and then hit the the engine button off, and then you can join me a little bit later. But get some air in there. You're parked in a good place. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Okay, picture is perfect, sound is perfect. Uh, we had some problems initially. There was a little drop frame just a few minutes ago, but we're good. Now, what I do is I turn my phone off when I put it in my pocket. Okay, power off. Do that powering off say okay do not run your phone while it is next to your body don't run in an airline mode trust me on that it's not worth it uh, the show tonight ends at uh, we got some more drop frames okay I got that tell me if we are lagging beyond just a few drop frames yeah, I've got a few drop frames going in on iBlog Hi. Okay. No, I think I'm okay. We're good. Nobody knows my number. It, it too is completely uh, anonymous. Yeah. I have a burner phone I, I travel with. This is my disguise for public. Nobody can recognize me here. I look like every other average Caucasian guy. I have a wig, yes, but this is not my wig. This is my real hair. I have the ability to wear my wig anytime. Hey, thanks, Jackson. Brass cast is crystal clear over at iVlog. Thank you, Tsunami Rose, for hanging in there for one hour. Why would I wear a cap? What's wrong with my hair? You, you keep saying I should wear my a cap. But what the hell's wrong with my hair? I mean, what, what's wrong with my hair? Just give me a response here, because there's nothing wrong with my hair. Look, I have exposed every elitist out there. I brought my leather jacket and my other, my uh, chat step jacket, founded in 1978. I know, hair is fine. Thank you, Scissor Fight. I needed that, that validation. It makes me feel better. I, I just can't believe people keep harping on my hair, and the hair is great, you know? It's like, fake thank you. Yeah, bam, the hair trolls. I know. Jack, hey, Jackson, you're absolutely right about that, you know? Jackson's a, bit, a little younger than I am, but it's hard to keep your hair normal when you're older. And, and it, it's hurtful for you to say bad things about my hair. I'm having a Starbucks meltdown. Thank you. Well, I'm going to get a cold brew uh, with Sarah is in, in the show. She's going to come in I, I, with an eye shot of her. And uh, she, I, I cued her to come on in. Well, believe me, I am a hero. And travel is okay as long as it's uh, complete. You don't even know what city I'm in. Yeah, you have no idea. What can you do to your hair? Chuck, you're about ready to be you know, kicked out. I wear a hat during the day. It straightens out my hair. Okay. It's not, a, it, normally my hair is curly. Yeah, cold brew is awesome. If you haven't had it, it's like 65% lower acid than you would normally find. No, yeah, they're getting close. Um, <laughs> I'm not paranoid, so. Yeah, hair chat's going to be muted, Chuck. 
Yeah, so we got some things going on in the news that I think we need to talk about. And some of you just, you know, are basically waking up every morning with a frontal lobotomy and you don't even know it. You love my hair. That's a little kinky, Steve. Steven Seagal, everybody. Let me get to the news and find out what, what trouble Donald Trump has put us in now. Oh my God, there's a YouTube shooting. Woman wounds three before killing herself. She opened fire at YouTube in San Bruno. Nope, she was probably one of those people that was banned from their, the network. This is a serious story. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think it'd get this serious this fast, but some people don't like to get, get censored, and I guess she went open fire on people. Well, let's be clear. What else is happening? Donald Trump's taking weapons now. U.S. announces tariffs on 50 billion of Chinese imports. Oh yeah, he's going down the I'm going to win the tariff war routine. Spotify stock market debut strikes a chord with investors. They like Spotify. Comcast's little puppy. And Mueller told Trump's attorneys the president remains under investigation but is not currently a criminal target. Well, that's actually good news for Donald. Good for him. Okay, let's take a look at this story here. This woman allegedly killed herself. Female suspect is dead. This is highly unusual. I don't know. Yeah. We're going to pipe in on this. You're showing people evacuated, which is your normal. Three people injured. We have a report of Woman is dead. Subject with a gun. Audio from police scanner. We heard seven to eight shots being fired. One out of 12, one out of 12. We've got a YouTube shooting at the Google building. headquarters. Police say the shooter was a woman who currently killed herself. I don't know. What's the potential for this to be a false flag? We have four. Who injures people and then kills themselves? I don't know. Okay, we got. I'm going to drop out of that. What's your take, Scissor Fight? You think it's real? I, I return to him. And David Hogg is being flown in for interviews. <laughs> yeah, really. He's, he's waiting David Hogg's response. Beekman, long time no talk. Good for you. Okay, things are going up. Why is David Hogg suddenly important in the scheme of things? Sprizzle, haven't you been following the Liptard news? David Hogg is their idol, a man who lies incessantly about everything. The Liptards love him. Well, be batteries loading. Okay, hang on. I got to get this thing charged up. Hold, please. Battery power. Yeah, you can take care of that. What's that? Oh, you can make it buy something? Yeah, I can buy a cold brew. Okay. I just found that hard drive. I was wondering where it was. I had a gigabyte hard drive stuck in my laptop bag. I was wondering, well, where is that hard drive I stuck there? Okay, I'm back. Hey, guys. Sorry. Sorry for the delay. 
Uh, yeah, we're, we're dealing with the Starbucks crowd here. You can see in the background, people are you know, hanging in. Uh, life is good. Uh, so far, so good. It worked for a lot of people. I am absolutely amazed. No, Sarah's fine. I just need to know what we're getting for you to watch. I am absolutely amazed that uh, David said the lady is curious, is curious as to what you're doing. Of the lady? Uh, I don't know there are people around me. I mean, really? Oh, no, this is a, this is an artificially generated background. Yeah. I'm just pretending to be here. She's checking me out. Really. What's she looking at? Well, and she seemed kind of like a lesbian to me, but that's not a personal thing. No, I'm not. I'm streaming from a place uh, that has great signal strength consistently. New Jersey cop search demands penis. Genitals for weed during crap and stuff. I saw that last night on live video. Yeah. No, we don't interview people here who are, you know, trying to remain silent and remaining lesbian on their iPods. I, whatever they have. iPads, iPods. Do people even have iPods anymore? I don't even think they do. It's like they're all. I deserve to get away busy, but I don't have any time away. You know that. I've got to be constantly on the show every night. You know that. Beekman, why would I go and interrupt somebody? Would you want me to walk up to you and go, hey, hey, uh, oh, hey, buddy, what are you drinking here? Nobody uh, wants to talk to anybody anymore. You know that. We're just all waiting for the apocalypse. Why do you think I should talk to the interesting? Is it, it's not interesting to talk about Trump, who you still love? Wow. That's pathetic. The bodies were changed to protect the uh, overweight people. Well, there's nothing, there's no such thing as good content. Really. Not in this day and age. Now it's just like you get what you get. Yeah. I'll tell you, I do have a UHF transmitter. What? No, people who are recording our broadcast from our main site take our show and, and duplicate it across the globe. Would I debate David Hogg? No. Well, if he's willing to do it, sure, but I'd be calling him a liar because, as you know, the guy's not 18 years old. You'd be hitting on that lady down there. That's inappropriate language in our show. You see, you're fantasizing about a woman you can't even get to in front of a store. No, no flash mobs in this area. Everything, everything's completely under control. You know, when I was first uh, made aware that I was, you know, going to have to do this in 2008, I, I recognized that the need to to build a third party was essential later in the world's politics, because obviously people aren't ready for anything that's censored heavily. No, there's still bad life in the UHF. Really. Get this away from you, but fantasizing too much about other people. Yeah. I'm going to sit over here, put campaign 22 over the screen, and then fill it up with uh, news and, and information. News and important events. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to America's Third Party. I'm David Sponhart. Mueller told him there's no criminal. He's not a criminal target right now. Well, uh, oh, okay. Well, the criminal targets will fall in line and then Trump will be a criminal target. Yes, they are unfortunately vandalizing it. What do you mean, awkward misanthropy? I mean, this is like, I busted my ass to do a show and you're coming in here criticizing it. Do you have any idea how screwed up that is? I mean, I mean this is, considering you have never done a show in your entire life and you come in here and call this awkward, how dare you? How dare you? It's like people that call JFK a womanizer and then dispense with him as though he's a bad president when he was one of our greatest presidents. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Now, that's just me though. Awkward to have a guy yelling. I'm not yelling. Am I, am I loud? Can I, can I can talk much lower? I mean, hello? 
Bad Dog is an island, I don't think. No, in fact, Pence and the Speaker of the House don't want the presidency, and they're incompetent. Paul Ryan is already, he wants to leave, he wants to retire, and I don't think Pence even knows where he's at. He thinks Jesus is talking to him. Thanks, so be inspired. Well, this is not an IHOP, I'll tell you that, okay? I wouldn't even get connections at IHOP. I'm gonna have a cold brew at the coffee house, yes. Jackson says it's perfect, great, good. I'm, I'm happy, you're happy. Sarah's happy. Amber is in a posh hotel with Animal Plant playing 24 seven. So she's got little baby gerbils looking at, and she's, she's listening to their sounds. Yeah, we set her up in a hotel with an animal plant playing. Amber's our kitty. If you want to take over, I'll buy you a, a hot cocoa. Okay. I got, I got the cash. All right. Oops. Oops. Yes, Amber is on vacation with us. Actually, I was making my order. I want, okay, I am a trooper, and so is Amber, because she really does not like to travel. You guys hear me okay? <laughs> Sorry, my two lattes is set. Give me frappuccino, please. I know, exactly, right? It's so yummy and delicious. Mine as well. Ooh, Spotify stock market debut strikes a chord with investors. Ooh, Spotify. Maybe I should invest in Spotify. I am so enjoying my vacation. So like today we're in uh, some random place because I was like, I am not over planning for my vacation because every day for what I do in real life and for my work, I plan every minute of every day. <laughs> I'm like, so I'm not gonna worry about planning. All right, no. Fix my mic. This this should be better. We're near Mexico. Um, I'm not that far south, but in the state just above Mexico, yes. So no plans to hit the resale shops. No, I sell relaxed and happy. Yes, I don't plan to uh, hit the resale shops because I don't need to buy anything. Oh goodness, Mad Dog, you just yeah. wish I was a little bit your toes. Actually, you know whose toes are really perfect, but it's a guy who's never shown his toes on cam. Yeah. Deep. His toes. Oh my goodness. But it's not just that. He has a delicious everything. Uh -huh. David is so great. It's just wonderful, really. What can I, what more can I say? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I speak lower than David. Because I don't want everybody around me hearing everything I say. Sorry, sorry, Jack. Apparently, apparently, this is an injury vacation. Yeah, these, these are earrings. I don't know if they're conch shells. They're some kind of shell earrings that I got at a music festival in the area. I'm very, very happy with them. I, I had an excellent day. Even when David's like, I don't like this. Why are we here? I'm I just still happy. So, uh, does it look like I've been moisturizing? Because, no, I haven't. Thank you, 6 
driver in my seashell earrings look very becoming. Syrup, coconut uh, milkshake, and I got myself a cold brew iced coffee, Starbucks style. Yeah. Guess how much these two cost? Um, I'm going to say five dollars and eighty-five cents. No. Guess uh, again. Uh, eight dollars and eighty-five cents. No. Ten. Seventy-five. Well, that's because mine is five dollars. I was probably right on mine. $5.85 yeah, this for one. Yeah. And I asked him, are there are there refills? He said no, there's no refills on cold brew. Sorry. Ten seventy five. Nobody. Yeah. Welcome to modern America. Where it, it, I was just in a parking spot that they said if I past two hours it'd be seventy five dollars. Yeah. It's like so while while I was looking for a, a place to eat. Uh, for actually for quite my connections. We ended up getting Sarah dinner just to yeah. get validated so that I could look at the McDonald's feed. It was horrible. And then and I said, well, there's got to be a Starbucks around here. So we found like one right right nearby. And then we went to the six o'clock start. Yeah, inflation, sensation, I know. It's crazy. You know, we're at a Starbucks. But it's a good place. Like, Starbucks always has a good connection. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, was, I, I actually made cold brew last week. And David it, did. It did. We got a cold brew maker. We got a cold brew maker, and it was actually it's way more expensive to make cold brew because you got to put, you know, sixteen tablespoons of coffee in, in one container. I was gulping it down, and then David told me to stop, and then I started to sip it. <laughs> You slow it down a little bit. Yeah, anyway. So there was some that sort of shooting. Really there was a, 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 some three people injured at, at YouTube's headquarters. And a woman has allegedly killed herself. She shot three people and killed herself. No, I think she was just upset she got 
censored or something. Who knows? They've been censoring everybody on YouTube for the past few years. Yes, coffee beans aren't genetically modified, but now the government wants to make Starbucks put a, a warning label that they're cancer produced. And there's no evidence of that at all. Yeah, well, let's see. They haven't put a warning label yet. Yeah, that takes a while to actually. Mine probably doesn't have it. It was a target attack on her boyfriend. Really? So she went after her boyfriend. Oh, okay. No, Mad Dog. That's a five dollar drink I just bought for Sarah. Okay. Look at this. Yes. He acts like. He acts like I'm not giving you any enough. And you did have a pretty good dinner. I was. I had an awesome day. An awesome and, day. and an awesome dinner. So he was like, oh, we have to buy somebody dinner to get validated here. And we, otherwise, it's going to cost money just to drive through the parking lot unless we get validated. So, Sarah, I'm going to buy your dinner. And then I'm going to walk up down to the McDonald's. Oh, right. You have, it's the past two hours. So, we're going to leave here, go to the McDonald's. And then I'll broadcast for two hours or something like that. I'll come and meet you back here. I think we should talk a little bit about how you really appreciate Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah. We saw the Abraham Lincoln. We saw it. Oh, I, well, I have always appreciated We should go back and watch. Yeah, that should be cool. But I like, like Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln because, you know, the thing is, have you guys ever seen America's story of us? Anyway, that talks about how the part about Abraham Lincoln, he was so, um, he was so trivial, not, uh, he was so foundational in making sure he understood everything that was going on in the front of the He did, really. Abraham Lincoln was such a great, great person. And, you know, I'm so glad they were appreciated. Because some people yeah, here don't. He was a great president. I really felt like he was a really great president. He went through a tremendous uh, turmoil. He was married to a woman who went crazy, right? Right under his watch. Very tough. My, my favorite presence. Because I think about, you know, I like your Kennedy, but Kennedy is a space I'm not going to about I don't think Abraham Lincoln had relations with anybody, not even his wife, except for that. Yeah. He had relations I don't think I, see, the thing about Lincoln as president, Lincoln worked his tail off. You know what, what really impressed me about Lincoln? He said that uh, America has to raise us. So they had the, uh, they had the telegraph at that time. And Lincoln read every single telegraph that came into the White House. I mean, most presidents don't have time to read all of their communications. But they have telegrams. They have telegrams for that. And even other people were like, Mr. President, we can filter this and give you the most important lines. No, he read every single one. Yes. And he was trying, he, he really was trying to lead the war effort from the White House. He was, yeah. He, and at the time, there was, he was, he was at this um, pivotal time in history. It was phenomenal, all the technology that was happening at that time. It was the, the railroads, the, railroad, and the yeah. telegraph, and he was in the middle of the Civil War. And he was desperately seeking to hold the Union together while these, these people decided, oh, we don't want to be part of your country anymore. And he really, he really did try to move the country together. Well, the last pick of Abraham Lincoln, we, we really appreciate Abraham Lincoln. You with fresh. I, I, you kind of look like Abraham Lincoln. Well, I do. And, and many people don't realize this. But you have better hair. Yeah. Well, Abraham Lincoln didn't have conditioners. That's true. We have a photograph of Abraham Lincoln right before he died. Um, it's the last picture of him. And he was 56 years old, folks, and his life was just literally, it was tiring for him to deal with all the troubles of our country. So people that badmouth our great president, 
really have to understand that and I've got a person in here who doesn't like Abraham Lincoln. That's why we're personally making here the topic of our conversation right now. Well, I, I think he's one of our greatest presidents myself. And, you know, if you look at what he did, and, uh, and, I, and I, I would say, uh, Sarah, you're looking very, very pretty tonight. You're looking a lot better than uh, Mary Todd Lincoln, I must say. Yeah, David, you look so uh, I mean, this guy was like 56. Look at how much how many wrinkles was on his face. My fellow Americans, this is not a war of northern aggression. This is a civil war. And you better get with it. <laughs> yeah, he really had a, a good, wonderful person. And I'm really glad that we endorsed him here. Probably think I need to too. I do it pissed him off. He immediately got pissed off. Look at that. Well, definitely my hair, and I don't want to be launched off all across the country. That you can contribute to general service. Yeah. I mean, of course, Lincoln condoned that behavior. Lincoln held us together. Time, yeah. By that time, Lincoln was so tired of dealing with inept generals who would listen to what he said that he was just happy to have someone do what it took to, to bring the war to a head. Yeah. And he really resolved this country's problems. But I told you that Doug earlier tonight the person with the best speed that I've ever seen. I'm not sure if you don't camp. Thank you. Almost had a direct kiss there. I almost kissed her on the lips. She almost got a quick Yeah. Uh, Sarah and I are like, like very, very much in love. I'm trying to eliminate the, the Abraham Lincoln hater here. He dislikes Lincoln intensely. Well, you know, a lot of you don't like Lincoln. I get that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the thing Soviet spy. He was really trying to hold the country together. Exactly. And it's like if, if people were against the country, he didn't have any place for them. That's yeah, it, it, was. it became a, a nation that was killing itself. We had 2 million people injured, 500,000 lost their lives, 1.5 million lost their arms, legs, or other uh, part of their body. And this was the worst war our country ever faced. And many of you people who like to, to hate on Lincoln. I do, Mad Dog. So yeah, he like, I like likes Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah, so there's a definite problem between. Sarah and I actually knew it was telling me that. Yeah. I was like, I really like Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. You know that, yeah, that story of us, that was a really good show. That we watched that. That was a great show. And then we saw a thing on the Kennedys on CNN last past couple days on cable. We've been traveling and we have this great hotel that we're staying in. Sorry, am I pinching your hair? Oh, your, your hair is so long, that's why. But Kennedy is another great example of a wonderful person who people falsely call an adulterer. Yeah, I mean, you want to look at an adulterer? Look at Trump. Okay, two women now are accusing him of cheating on his wife. Well, two people are now blaming that Trump had relations with him. Yeah, there was like twelve people are claiming that he's he's had relations with him. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard I've heard it's more than two. Oh, it's well, look at look at his recent appointment, Carolyn Sunshine, to replace Hope Hicks. And we're finding out that Trump spent the past uh, year with Hope Hicks privately in the Oval Office. Yeah, that was the whole story. The thing. That's weird. Yeah, so when Hope Hicks started dating Rob Porter or whatever it is. I was like, wait, but I thought like the whole inside thing was like he was hopester to Trump and he was like Trump's like on the side. Trump is now claiming that he's a matchmaker. And now this is our a characterization of our our president right now. He's a matchmaker, he likes to drink diet cokes and eat fish burgers from McDonald's, and he watches TV all night long. 
until three in the morning and tweets manically. We're not stifling your freedom of speech, man. We're not stifling your freedom of speech. We're letting you speak out. But we are clearly supporters of Lincoln and Kennedy. Sarah and I both like Lincoln and Kennedy. You can't take that away from us. Yeah. I thought you'd have, well, and now you're spamming. You ready for another purge? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Sonoma Rose. Man, that really hit me. I've never had better full proof. It's great stuff. Well, let me tell you, Pilgrim. I'm not going to purge you, man. I just want you to know that we're not big, big haters of Lincoln or Kennedy like you are. I got one thing. I got two more Is it good? Is it tasty? There's no caffeine in it, so I think you're on the right track. Okay, um, as far as Kennedy's relations with other women, they didn't last more than 20 seconds at any given time. Right. No, we do, because of the Illuminati weren't funding Kennedy or Hitler. They, they killed Kennedy. Did I say Hitler? I'm sorry. I meant well, Lincoln. We're going till nine o'clock tonight. This is six. It's the original six to nine show. So we, we are not deviating. From I that did way. hear that. So you know, I think that really. But I do have to say, I really liked Jack. I think she was very kind to Kennedy, even though he might not be very kind to her. He was all about wanting to be friends. Okay, Sister Fight has his take on the YouTube shooting today. He said, I'd love to know why more than 300 police vehicles, SWAT, etc., got there within a few minutes of the event. Could possibly be that this is another drill and they were all waiting outside, right? Good point, Sister Fight. It does seem odd that 300 SWAT cars or vehicles would be at that location in Google within a few seconds of it happening. So, it was Operation Jade Google. Well, Mad Dog, you know, look, we know that you're angry still, and many Southerners are. We're going to try to do five to ten. We, no. we try, you know, I, I do five to nine. Okay. I did five to nine last night. This is our travel mode. Okay. I've actually been trying to get David to do five to nine every night. Yeah, you know, you might. Actually, you might convince me. It's getting, we need, you know, Sarah and I have had one hour less of cuddle time because you guys have forced us to do the show till 10. As, I, and I, I blame my viewers for this. And as you can see, we're happier. This place is open till 11.30 tonight? 10. 10. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Well, I know you need me from 9 to 10, but you guys have taken so much of my time that I've, I've neglected Sarah, and then she needed a vacation. And we had to give her a vacation. So, I mean, this has cost her the happiness that she deserves. And you have to understand, a woman does not want to be ignored in the evening. Okay? No, we're leaving it now. We have something else to do tonight. Well, we're... We have other things we got going on. I mean, I, I literally am stacking this vacation with all kinds of events. I have scheduled another uh, shiatsu massage, and I, I can't leave here. Oh, yeah, he's just trying to negotiate Saturdays. Yeah. Yeah. We are doing our show every night but Sunday, but this Saturday I'm going to have to skip because because we're on a road trip. I've got to make some miles this Saturday, just like I made miles last Saturday. I drove 650 miles on Friday, or excuse me, on Saturday, and 650 miles on Sunday. But you know, this is taking No, they won't say. I don't know if I'm going to hit up resale shops. There's a Saturday in May. I'm not canceling Saturdays, just this coming up Saturday. So we Maybe. do. 
We took we took a hybrid vehicle. I will say that we did take a hybrid. Vehicle. I have. I have. We don't have to. We have our hybrids are not plug-in hybrids, so they they just run off the electric, gas, and electric engines. Do some charging stuff, but it's like there's extra energy in charge of the electric. And um, our car works and uses the electric engine as it's going up hills and, and uh, drains it. Okay, I'll be back with that. The charge is going down hills and it uses it going up hills. Yeah, you see palm trees in the background. It's not pretty interesting.
Audio settings on our show. I think they're hearing this because I sound like I'm underwater. But they can hear the. Okay, well, let's go to. The, everything else let's, let's go to the camera. Um, I'm going to go to the camera settings and I'm going to give you the actual audio from the camera that we're using. And we'll see if that's any better. No, they're saying they think that that's what they're hearing now. I know. That's, that's why I'm going to. Give you the actual audio from that location, and I want them to assess the audio. Is better? Okay, everybody, we're uh, we're on the audio off the camera now. What do you think of this? The tsunami says we sound clear as a bell. Is it? It is better. Well, Mad Dog, we just brought up the Abraham Lincoln thing because you keep thinking you have some sort of a thing going with Sarah, and that's not not happening. This is better. Okay. I'll take the heads off. This is better. Okay, this is better. Great. Okay, 104 says David sounded better before. How do I sound? Okay, this is better. Good. I can do this. Maybe it's not my microphone at all. Maybe I just sound like I'm underwater because of my head. All right. Okay, we can do this now. It's louder. It's good. Okay, we're 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 getting a better sound. I always sound. This is an on stereo mic too. I think I'll take this back to Walmart. Get my 1499 back. Okay, so you guys can't hear me at all. This is better. Okay. This is better. Okay. No, it's not that we don't we don't deny your anger at Abraham Lincoln, Mad Dog. We get that. But we like Abraham Lincoln, Sarah and I do. I do. So we, I always have. Yeah, and I'm not gonna say I don't. And I don't think he was gay either. Uh, actually, I can at hear you, sir. At this point, what difference does that make? At, at this point, yeah, that's a Hillary saying. I know. Well, I like that saying. I don't care what people say. I mean, I actually like that saying by Hillary, so I'm going to take it. Sorry, Hillary. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this 1499 mic back to Walmart. I have a receipt. Yeah, Johnson says I can understand why Southerners are so angry. I can understand. Yeah. I guess I understand that, but that didn't, to me, doesn't diminish from the fact that I thought he was a good president. Yeah. I'm going to put this back in the package. I, I think perhaps the more would have gone on for a shorter period of time had Lincoln had the generals actually followed Lincoln issues that they asked him to do. Yes, there are a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of traffic here. Lots of buses, lots of, lots of traffic here we are. You're raising the culture probably is. Yeah. Maybe you're right, Jackson. Wait. It takes two to tango. And it lets just Lincoln that tore the country apart. I, I, no, I don't agree with that at all. 
I believe that Lincoln was trying to bring the country together, not tear the country apart. That's my opinion. Maybe I should do some more research, but that's my opinion on Lincoln. Yes, in an effort to keep the country together. I mean, the, the country was so young at that time, less than 100 years old, and he really, he really was trying to together. I agree with you that Lincoln, it's, it's a fallacy to think that Lincoln really loves people of color because when he put in the Emancipation Proclamation, it wasn't really to free the slaves. That wasn't the end goal. The goal was to upset the southern states. Townhouse in Myrtle Beach, but maybe it's not This worked out great. This is the perfect spot for our show. Even though the lighting's a little off, let me fix the camera a little bit. Thanks everybody for putting up with this uh, this issue with traveling. I know it's not easy. It's rough having hundreds of millions of people watching us every night. Isn't it tough? You know? Because oh, yeah. she doesn't even know that we're being seen by hundreds of millions of people. I haven't, I haven't told her that. Oh, thanks. Yeah. This is the first she's ever heard about it. Welcome, everybody, to our nonstop live show. And yes, I, we're, we are sitting in the balcony. You want me to play Mr. Right? Let me play Mr. No. Right. What? What do you mean, no? Uh, I want to play it, so I'm going to play Mr. Right for everybody because nobody's going to lose that opportunity. Thank you. Much brighter. Oh, okay, guys. Here's Mr. Right. Lock Mr. Right. As promised, Mr. Wright. Thank you. But no, I, I just wanted to establish that too. So. so I like Lincoln. Oh yeah, we have, Sarah likes Lincoln. I think we can talk a little closer. Let me bring the mic up a little closer to us here. There we go. A little more intimate. Okay. So we've got a so couple shall of. Shall we talk about politics? some of the things for the future of our nation? So we one should. of the things that I was thinking is about saving water and environmentalism. Yes. So we all know that some people you can make you know artwork with recycled goods. That's a really cool thing that uh, you can do. And artwork with recycled goods is, is picking up a lot of people doing that, yeah. 
So that's one thing. And of course, you can definitely recycle. But you know, one of the other things is that just reducing the amount of waste that we generate in, to begin with. So when you go to a to a shop like Bimbo, I'm doing here, it would have been better if I got some kind of ceramic cup and see if they could reuse that for ceramic cup. Okay. Rather than, yeah. And actually, now they do sell reusable cups, which is pretty cool. Anyway, but um, getting getting reusable re reusable things are very good. We're not even we're yeah, not people even, aren't even people, people are not are really? not recycling more than ten percent. Right? Really? Why not? Because there's so much plastic waste going on in our country uh, that if we convert it to paper bags again mm -hmm. and bottles. Mm -hmm. Glass bottles, we'd be so much better off for the planet and for the human well, race. I don't know if glass bottles are that great for the planet because glass bottles take forever to actually. They're recycling. Like, do. No, but no, no. They're, 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 you can also That's melt them down and make them again, again, and again, and again, and again. That works to You can't do that yes. with plastic as easily without burning fuel. Can, I'm going to give you a high clap for that. Good job, chicken. Uh, are you guys coming in okay tonight? Uh, are you hearing us okay? If you're having any problems hearing us, go ahead and tell me. Okay. Oh yes, I I bring tsunami rose, and I actually teach I teach students that about reusing Ziploc bags. You can wash and reuse Ziploc bags. Yep. And then and then you know I I think that we should really go back to like paper wrapping yeah. sandwiches. Yeah. Paper wrapping. Yeah. They used to use wax paper, but I don't know how good that is. I guess it's better than plastic. Okay, Mueller is investigating uh, all of Trump's team, but he's not pursuing a criminal engagement. He's not seeing, right now, he's not seeing the president as a criminal target. So we have some uh, some hope that, uh, that Trump may escape this, uh, this prosecution by Mueller and possibly uh, become, you know, uh, the Twitterholic that he is today for the next three years. And then the American people will decide what to do, you know? All right, thank you for the link. If this is a uh, an ongoing uh, a harassment of Donald Trump, uh, then I, I guess it's too bad, but we need to find out for sure that he didn't, he wasn't chosen by Putin uh, to stop the sanctions against Russia. We needed to find that out. So we're still trying to find that out, actually, because he may have he may have actually been solicited by Putin to be that puppet president to control, and that's our biggest concern. And he may have been an unwitting dupe in a criminal conspiracy. Trump is so greedy; he might have been just suckered into this. Yeah. So he may not even be criminally involved, but he still may be a puppet for Putin. No, John. John. Trump was not chosen by the people. They chose Hillary. Yeah, unfortunately for you. But the popular vote went to Hillary. I hate to tell you the truth. And the, when Trump was, was cheating with the Russians' help, that's how he won. So just yeah. get it straight, okay? We did hear about that one since we're tragic. As well God. As silly. Yes, we held hands tonight. First appointee at Defense Department. Signs. Yeah, Trump's appointee resigns at the Defense Department. Let's take a look at that. After CNN reveals birther posts. So. Oh, wow. Let's take a look. Somebody's really angry that Trump was a birther for that poor period of time that I was, just so you get noticed. And I still am a birther. I'm not going to deny that I, I don't believe that Obama was born in this country, but you guys can differ with me. That's okay. Trump appointee at the Defense Department resigns after CNN reveals birther postings. Really? And if he wasn't yes. born in this country, which is a real possibility, then he has pulled one of the great cons in the history of politics. He could have been born in Kenya and gone over to the United States, and everybody wants to be a U.S. citizen. Okay, the fact is, Obama released a long for a birth certificate, but never defended it. And I'm a, Sarah believes the birth certificate is authentic, but I don't. And I believe that, I believe that we have a problem with that, and I still do. So for a Defense Department official to quit on the no, notice that Trump believed that Obama was not born here, 
hey, I would have stuck with that story if I had won. And Trump shocked his base when he said that, that he didn't believe Obama was born in Kenya. He thought he was born in Honolulu. No emerging evidence was brought forth to present to Trump. He just decided to switch his position and flip-flop. So that is the record. And who cares if a guy resigns? I mean, Donald Trump body slams and beats. Yeah, I'll have to wait on that link. Thank you. You made a sloopy emo misanthropy. No kidding. Wow. Did you contact... Uh, did you, yeah, did you contact Mark and get it converted? Yeah. He wants us to buy it. To We're not it. buying it for you. What are you, crazy? Is that a joke? I mean, this guy, I mean, he wants to be my VP and he wants me to buy him an emote. I mean, come on. We can't, I don't have Sloopy on, on tap. Here. I'm so sorry. We don't carry Sloopy with us on the road. It just amazes me that you want me to do that. Thank you. Wow. Gosh, I just can't believe it. So Trump ostensibly cheated. It's $25, and nobody makes donations to me to go buy emotes. I'm not going to do that with it. No way. You're telling me some of you can't afford over 25 for an emote? Come on. Really? I mean, I'm beginning to wonder if some of you are even living on the street. It's $37.99 now? He moved the price up. Oh, that's because Mark got greedy, I guess. I, don't, I haven't seen your donation, John. You donate your time to watching our show, yes, but I've got people at iBlog I'm ignoring right now. Let's no, don't X out of it. Just keep it there. Trump's interviews on Howard Stern were good too. Yeah, I, I tended to believe that the, the the birther issue was real, and I, I was the birther candidate for and against Sarah's recommendations. By the way, she didn't think that. I was, you know, along the same line. I still don't believe that long-term birth certificate that Trump, that Obama presented, was accurate, and it's never ever been reviewed by scientific team. The ones that did review the copy have said it was filled with all kinds of multiple Photoshop errors on it. So there's so much, so much information that would verify that's a fake birth certificate. I can't even tell you. Oprah's not very popular, Johnson. That's just a mind control thing the government's engaged in. Oprah's really a, you know, she's just this kind of a puppet who, who speaks for, her, for the status quo. She doesn't really speak for the common folk. Even black people aren't even represented by her. Yeah, she's not even, she, she ceased being black when she became so rich. And I think we can help black people. I really do. I think that we can stop the racial profiling that's going on by cops. I think we could make it less brutal for people who are black. You know, so I don't think Obama did enough for the black people, to be honest. And I'm an integrationist, so I, I care about that. Okay, Sarah's getting. I do believe in civil rights, and I believe in. Uh, I, I strongly believe in civil rights. I think there's a lot of uh, great things people did in the South to bring about civil rights, which is really good. Yeah. And a lot of Southern Democrats uh, who didn't want to sign the Civil Rights Act. I understand your anger and your feelings of resentment. I get that. And I had many Republicans that did sign the Civil Rights Act. That's why, you know, black people have rights. It was thank goodness for the Republicans, because otherwise blacks wouldn't have become uh, on an equal plane with whites. That's a really good part of Wilson's are fight. I come from a long line of Democrats in my family, and uh, I strayed very far away uh, from the Democrats, but I became a centrist. And I, I don't think a lot of people know that, that I'm, I've, I've actually uh, been hated by Democrats because I speak openly about these things. So there's there are companies that are working with, with departments, police departments, to develop body cameras that could identify faces in real time. Really? But privacy groups fear losing anonymity. Wow. Several technology companies are working with police departments like those in Chicago. Wow. I, Baltimore, I heard, we had a complete thing going on. recognition 
Please so that right. now, then you can be walking down the street and every camera picks you up. There's Sarah, there's Sarah, there's Sarah. Oh, yeah. there's I was Sarah. spotted a couple times in a public place today by three or four cameras. I saw them tracking me where I was going. I actually saw the cameras watching me. Isn't that weird? It's like you can see the cameras tracking you when you're going down the street now. Wow. Especially if they've got an eye on you. All right. Well, you want to take a break? You're welcome to. Um, you, I normally do a three hour, four hour show, so you can take a break. Yeah, I might go take a break. Okay, go for it. All right. Thank you. I can tell you you need a little break. I've known you long enough to know that. Thank you. Well, you don't have to come back, but take your drink, because I think it's important that you have this. Thank you. No, I want you to enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's not a it's not a caffeinated. Okay. All right, everybody, let's get down to business. Yeah, we've got a situation on our hands that is getting out of control. A president that has unleashed his his will upon the, the world to create a, a trade war with China. And now upon the news that China is going to be implementing the tariffs on three billion dollars worth of items, Trump upped it to fifty billion on our end. And Trump said we can easily win a trade war. Hmm. Look at if you want to hate on black people, you come to the wrong place. Okay. Yeah, I'm not racist, and I don't like people running down blacks based based on what you think percentage of criminality or whatever occurs. Bottom line is people are people and they're living a hard life in this world. You think? Do you think at all? So you think people who aren't living a hard life, how would you like to be born in a situation where you have no hope of getting out of your, li your life where you're at? Your family's never gonna move out of that house because you can barely make your rent because off the welfare payments. And you don't have any chance for elevating even with bad schools that you're living with. And you got gang members listening to you trying to make you join. I mean, that's not a good good existence. I mean, you got to put yourself in there. there. It's not easy. I grew up in, in L.A., a little place called Los Angeles. And I can tell you, it's not exactly a simple life in a city like this. If you grew up in the country, it's different. And I, I know that people who are living in the city have a lot harder issues to deal with. Well, you know, you people think from your hip. It's like people that shoot from their hip. They usually miss. I'm not frowning. I'm just trying to wonder why you're so hateful of black people, because that's just wrong, okay? And I don't mind telling you it's wrong. But you're entitled to your beliefs, but I just don't think it's appropriate to just hate on people because of what they look like. It's wrong. Now, I was talking, uh, like last night, I made a few comments about a certain uh, group of people that were like driving from Fresno, coming back from Easter. And I, even I was a little bit pushing the envelope on that one, I agree. They were going 90 miles an hour and dodging in and out of traffic without signaling, so. That's what happens when people uh, drive like ma maniacs, I guess. Okay, we're doing good. Good. Why are you frowning? I don't know. Why do you think I'm frowning? Because I don't get why you hate people for what they look like. I don't get that. Well, yeah, and I want to correct. I want to correct the problem of affirmative action, Johnson. I agree with you there. I'm a victim of affirmative action. I have no Neanderthal facial features. No, nope, I am a, a what is called a Cro-Man. Yeah, I am of the Cro-Magnon uh, descendancy. Yeah. My entire uh, face represents the Cro-Magnon. Oh, let me give you an example of the Cro-Magnon, okay? Because apparently you're not really familiar with the two types of man. Yeah, well, I'm a victim of affirmative action, but I'm not standing around, you know, complaining like you are. You know, it just doesn't make sense to just bitch and complain about everything. I don't walk around 